So we are going to learn the viola. Cool. So what you're going to do is you're going to place it on the floor. Latches so that when you open them, they fling upwards. Okay. So go ahead and open up the case. There you go. And this is just going to fall back. And then uh, take the shoulder rest, which is the foamy thing, and put it on your lap, just out of the way, it doesn't really matter. I put it like up here, yep. And then take the viola, grabbing it by the neck. This is the neck. Lucky for you, I just came from string tech, so it's already in tune. There you go. So real quick, just to go through um, the different, this is a viola, it's slightly larger than the violin, but it's held the same way. We've got the neck, this black part is the fingerboard, fingerboard, these are the strings, we'll get to the names later. Bridge, this is where you'll rest your chin, so it's a chin rest. And then this is how you'll tune, but like I said, it's already pretty much in tune because I just came from class. So what you're going to do is it's held in your left hand by the neck and it's going to rest between your clavicle right here and your jawbone, kind of wherever it's comfortable. Because my neck is much shorter, I actually need a chin rest, but that chin rest is too big. So when I, it's just very uncomfortable. So I can't, I don't use it. I uh, wear a hoodie to make sure that I have. And it's going to kind of um, come at a slight angle down and you'll, we'll adjust as we, okay? Makes okay. sense? Cool. So go ahead, the big part goes towards your clavicle. I do need... Like this. Oh. Okay. okay. And we'll put it on the rubber band. <laughs> there you go. Okay. How's that? How's your chin feel? Does it hurt at all? Is it uncomfortable? Is anything digging in? No. Okay. So there you go. That's how... We're going to do that. Now, as far as where your setup is with your left hand, your right hand can come down. Okay. Um, is that we want to make sure that our wrist stays straight, like this. There you go. And our fingers curve. So what I want you to do is come down a little. Okay. Relax. It's okay. You feel like I'm going to drop it? You're not. <laughs> I'm right here. We want your wrist to stay straight, just like when you played trumpet. Okay. Your wrists stay straight. And then your fingers come up in a curve. And what you want is when you touch this string, don't touch any other strings. And then you'll touch this string, but not the not this one. So that when you, you know, when you pluck, you see you're, you're touching it somewhere. There you go. Here it's resonant. Then lift up and touch the last one. There you go. You feel how you have to have your... Yeah. So just go ahead and we call that jumping the strings. Just go ahead and touch all of them and rotate your wrist. And you'll rotate your elbow out to get the other string, the lowest string, and then there you go. Just like that. But do it with all four fingers. Okay. There you go. And make sure that your palm and everything stays rounded. Okay. We don't want any tension up in here. Make sense? Yeah. So there. Make sure you stay low. <laughs> and you look good. Great. Okay. Now we're gonna move on to something simpler. Just uh, take it down, grab it by the neck, and this is what we'll call the guitar position. Okay. And you're gonna hold it like this, just like you would a guitar. Oh, okay. Okay? And I want you, because you are a musician, I want you to go ahead and the highest string, which is the, the bottom to you, is called A, and I want you to find a whole step up from A by placing your first finger down onto the fingerboard. Okay. First finger. That's your mm. Yeah, about there. There you go. Now find C. Well, with your second finger. Mm. And you'll keep your first finger down, sorry. Bring them a little closer together so they touch. Now, you see how your two fingers are together? Yeah. That's a half step. 
So whenever you're on any of the strings, once you find first the first finger spot, and then you touch your first finger with your second finger, mm -hmm. you'll have a half step. Now find C sharp with your second finger. So you'll have to spread it out a little. There you go. And then that way, so now that's a whole step. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Yeah. So when your fingers are apart, it's a whole. And when they are touching, it's a half. And that works with any of the fingers. So it, you can have fingers like this. You have fingers like this. You can have fingers like this. You yeah. any of the combinations. Okay. So we are only at six minutes. So let's go ahead and um, let's just do a scale. The cool. second, this string, is the D string. So we're going to do a D major scale, and it's just all by ear, and you'll E. There it is. And then and then you'll move to A. Oh. Open A. Oh. There you see. Shoot. Mm -hmm. There you go. But what I want you to do is I want you to don't be afraid to pluck. Yeah. Okay. The strings can take it. We want to be able to hear you. Right, okay. The the idea of plucking there you go. The idea of plucking is called pizzicato. Okay. And it's just um it's pizzicato. a it's a technique that is used to obviously create a shorter sound, mm -hmm. um, but it's just a stylistic thing. Okay. And if you were to see it in music, you would see P-I-Z-Z -Z dot. Okay. So let's try again. There it is. Try plucking with your nail. And try plucking up here on the fingerboard area. Okay. There it is. I'm sorry, C sharp. I can't hear you. Oh, you forgot A? Oh, wrong string. Uh, wrong, uh. there it is. There you go. Okay. I want you to I'm touching one of these other strings or something. Yeah, well, it's um, it's actually I find this a lot with my practicing, um, especially when I'm doing pizzicato stuff. Mm -hmm. Is that just because one string is vibrating, it actually vibrates one of the lower strings, and it's very annoying when I'm practicing. So that's why I was holding it. Okay. Um, this time I want you to now you know D to D. Mm -hmm. I want you to come up with just a quick three note song. It can be. Mary had a little lamb, hot cross buns, but I want you on your own, with your ear and your knowledge that you have, just real quick, come up with a three note song for me, using the D string, which is which one? The second one. Yep, and then the A string. You can use any of the notes we learned on those two strings. Okay. Move this finger down a little more. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 